Good morning everyone. So, how are you today? So, today we're going to continue our lesson. So, we're going to have some revision on in and on. And then, I'm going to introduce to you some several simple rules about simple present tense. Simple present tense. So, it is very simple. Alright. So, these are the learning outlines. Firstly, I need you to differentiate between in and on. Okay, I know, you know already. And then, we got, I'm going to introduce to you some simple rules about simple present tense. And then, you need to complete your exercise book, page 26. Okay, so, in or on? Okay, so, in. For in, we use in for the months of the year. So, what are the months of the year? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Those are the 12 months of the year. Okay, so look at the example given. My birthday is in July. So, in because it is the month of the year, which is July. We are going to London in December. December is also the month of the year, so we use in. Clear? Okay, what about on? On, we use on for the days of the week. So, how many days are there in a week? Seven days in a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, seven days in a week. For these seven days in a week, we use on. For example, I am going for karate practice on Tuesday. Tuesday is the days of the week, right? So, we use on. I am going to Cameron Highland on Saturday. Saturday, days of the week. So, we use on. Okay, so I hope you will be able to differentiate between in and on. Next one is the simple rules about the simple present tense. So, do you still remember about singular and plural that I have already teach you in the class? So, singular means one. Plural means more than one. Lebih daripada satu. So, singular, the pronouns that we are going to use uh, for singular is he, she, it, Yusuf, Zakaria, or whatever name. Okay? But for plural, we use they, we, you, the boys, and Ahmad and Anissa, uh, or anybody. Okay. And special case for I. Let me introduce that one after this. Okay, so for singular, you need to add S after the verb. Okay, just look at the example now. Yahya plays badminton on Sunday. Okay, plays. There's S here. Okay, he goes to the park on Monday. Teacher, kenapa yang ni add ES? Yang ni S je. Sebab goes, G-O-E-S. The root word, kata asal dia, G-O. Okay, tapi sebab dia berakhir dengan O, okay, kita tambah ES. Jadi goes. Tapi yang lain biasanya tambah S je. Okay, tapi bila berakhir dengan O, tambah ES. Bila nak jadikan dia, uh, nak guna dekat singular. But, if it is plural, for plural, you don't need to change. Just stick to the root word. Biar dekat kata asal dia. Don't change the spelling. Don't add S. Don't add ES. No. Okay, look at the example given. We play basketball on Tuesday. Play, not place. No. Because it is plural. When it is plural, you just need, you don't change the verb. No. Teacher, what is verb? Sorry, I forgot to introduce you the verb. Verb adalah kata kerja. Something that you can see with your eyes. For example, singing or dancing or running or jumping or sleeping. Uh, that are the example of the verb. Verb is something that you can see with your eyes. Okay, so you can see how you play badminton, right? Play badminton. Okay, you can see uh, he goes to the park. You can see he's walking to the park. Okay, so that is verb. Verb adalah kata kerja yang awak boleh tengok dengan mata awak sendiri. 
Okay, so next one, example number two, I play netball with my friends on Saturday. I, I is a very special case where uh, you don't have to change the spelling, even though I is singular, even though I sorang. Okay, tetapi dia special case, macam biasa saya cakap dalam kelas, I is very special. So, bila I, don't change the verb. Don't add S, don't add ES, no. Okay, so, now, let's try to make sentences, shall we? Okay, for today's lesson, I need you to open your workbook page 26. Okay. Okay, you can see this exercise. So, for this exercise, I need you to write the sentences. How to write the sentences? You need to fill in the blanks, fill the, the, the dash here with words. For example, I need dash place badminton dash Saturday. Saturday? In Saturday? On Saturday? On Saturday. Okay? And then, uh, so, for this one, I give you the verb. Okay. Number one, uh, I give you the sample already. Play. Okay, place. Sebab I ni sorang. Bila I ni sorang, kena tambah S. S. Remember, bila dia sorang, kena tambah S. Kecuali I. Bila dia nama orang ke, he ke, she ke, it ke, mesti tambah S. So, the second, for the second one here, the verb is also play. So, Fauzi. Fauzi. Fauzi seorang ke ramai? Seorang kan? Dia cakap Fauzi je. Dia tak cakap dengan kawan dia. Dia cakap seorang je. Fauzi tu seorang je. Fauzi. Subjek dia seorang. Fauzi, play ke place? Uh, okay. Number three, meet. Meet. Okay, Mina. Mina ni seorang. Singular. So, bila singular, add S. Meet jadi buat sendiri. Okay. Maziah. Maziah. Singular or plural? So, you need to think. Add S or don't change the word. Okay. Siti. Siti is also singular. When it is singular, you need to add S ataupun ES. For, for number 4 and number 5, the verb you are, that we are going to use is go. So, bila go berakhir dengan O. Bila O, jadi G-O-E-S. Goes. Okay, let me show you number 4. Maziah goes to the library on Thursday. Ha. CT number 5 CT goes to the garden on Sunday to the tu mana to the kenapa CT pergi ke taman ha, hari Ahad example so i need you to complete this one for today Okay, I think that's is it for today's lesson. I hope you understand. It's a very simple rules. And I, I hope that you can do it on your own. Alright, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!